This is a land of fear, not smiles. 60,000 Thai soldiers trapped in a decade-long war of attrition with insurgents who live all around them but are rarely seen. Last week, the mask slipped. A failed attack on a Thai marine base left 16 militants dead, their bodies strewn among the rubber trees. Astonishingly, three of them lived next door to each other, just a short drive from the base. A procession of friends and relatives arrived the following day to console the families. But your dad. <laughs> Marta Majid has been left with three young daughters to look after. She knew her husband, Hassan, was a wanted man. He stayed away, and the army often searched her home. Her feelings are mixed. She misses him, she says. Matohe Ali told me he was proud that his son Saudi had died fighting for his beliefs. So would he let any of his six surviving sons follow Saudi and join the insurgents? I try to stop them, he said. But they don't always listen to me. The dead men were buried as martyrs to the cause of an independent Islamic state. There was no emotion. Neighbours seemed to accept their deaths as a fitting end. The commander of the raid was Maroso Jantrawadi, a 30-year-old man with multiple arrest warrants and a price on his head, but admired in his own community. His widow, Rusani, grieves that her young son will never know his father. She is adamant, though, that his death was worth it, that his cause was a noble one. How many others in this troubled region of Thailand feel the same? People rarely speak openly, but sympathy for the insurgents is certainly strong. This failed attack may look like a victory for the Thai authorities, but they still can't break the powerful hold that the insurgency has on so many young Muslim men in this region, nor for all of the defensive measures that they're taking can they protect those that the insurgency targets. This is, believe it or not, a primary school. Government schools are seen as legitimate targets by the insurgents. And last month, they killed a teacher here, in front of the children. So running this school takes particular courage and dedication. Four of its teachers have already asked to be transferred. We are all afraid. We are afraid as soon as we leave the house. We don't know what we'll face out on the road. But with the soldiers here to protect us, we feel a bit safer. The soldiers keep doing what they've done for the past 10 years, patrolling and hunting for an enemy which is everywhere and nowhere. <laughs>